Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Um, welcome to episode eight of my series where I'm showing you how to build a content managed website with Umbrico and we're using version 7.6.5. In this episode, we're going to make the services section editable. So that's this section here on the website after the homepage intro. This services section, we're going to make this editable here. So what we're going to end up with is this. So it's like we've got content edited and our own icons and the link through to a page. So we're going to look at how that is coded first of all. We're going to create a new composition doc type for the services tab information. We're going to use archetype for the icons list. And then we're going to use a new competition, uh, composition doc type on the home page. So we're going to, on the home page, pick that one that we just created. We're going to write code to read the data from the services tab. And then we're going to render the data in the partial view. So let's go into Visual Studio and have a look at the code. So we have the, if we look at the template for the home page, we have the partial of services being called here. And if we go to the partials and then services, we have that here. So what we want to do is we want to um, make this code an editable content. So as I was saying, that was the title and description, then the list of icons, another paragraph underneath, and then the link. So let's make a start then by creating ourselves a new document type. So we're going into document types and within compositions, I want to create a new document type without a template. And I'm going to call this uh, services controls. And I want to create a new tab and called services. So first of all, I need a title. So services title. Into the title for the services section. I always try to add a description on all of these because it's just helpful for the user, the end user, especially as this is for a friend who's going to be using this and not myself. Um, they might need a bit of help on how to use it. So I've gone to reuse text string. Click on, um, do I want that to be mandatory? Not necessarily, but if it isn't there, it won't get rendered. But let's just say submit. Then we want to do a pr another property. So this will be um, services introduction. Enter the introduction for the services section. Add another editor and that one can be, do, let's just have a look at the code. So it was just within a single P. Uh, but there is a BR there, so maybe this whole P can be a um, HTML element. So I'll make it a rich text editor. So if I just start typing rich text editor, so there, reuse on that. Click on submit, and then what else do we have? So we have these list of icons, then we have another paragraph, and then a link. So I'm going to skip to the paragraph first of all. So I'm going to say services further information, enter some further information for the services section. And that can be another rich text. Submit that. And then finally, I want to do the link in the footer. So this can be the services link enter a link for the services section find related links in the reuse again click on that submit that and then save so i've got those four so let's just focus on those four first of all, and we'll come back to the list of icons. So if we go into the code now, <clears throat> as we've done on other ones, so let's just have a look at what we did on the footer. And we just did like Umbrico field, give it the property alias, 
and then there are some extra options that you can do if you want to insert before etc so what I'm going to do is use that there I'm not going to do an insert before I don't think let's just see oh I can do the h2 so this will be services title insert before I can change that to be h2 insert after h2 I mean there's no real difference between wrapping it with it but hey ho and I'm going to leave recursive of true so that if I want to use this partial on another page and I want to render these um, I only have to set it on the home um, content item and but I can still use this elsewhere and because of rec recursive is true it'll go up and it'll find it so that is the title then I want to do the same again for the content below it so that was services introduction I think if you want to get this alias here you can just click on the padlock and it selects it just be careful that you don't change that if you're going to use it for that purpose I don't want any insert before or afters so I can save that and then I can do the same down here so that one is services further information and then finally the link the services link now where have I done that link before so I might have already done one in the intro, done a link. So we've got title link. So we have this link on the intro for the page. So let's see if we can use this code here. And I'll do this as services link. I'm going to call it services links because it's returning a list of links basically and I need to make sure that I'm using the relevant namespaces so that these will light up and be usable so the property alias here I need to get from here so services link and I'll say related link services link equals null so if services links isn't null and there are some then services link equals services links dot first or default so I've set myself a link property there now the only thing is that this is saying from the assigned content item get property value now what I might be able to do is do a recursive yes so recurse true I could just put true in there, but I'm just being clear that I'm using recurse and true on that. So that will get us our services link. <clears throat> and then I can just use that in here. So how did I use it on the last one? As I've already got that, I just did the link property dot link and the link property dot caption. So in here. And I also wrapped it to check that it's not null or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is just copy that because it looks exactly the same um, in that footer part there. I'm going to paste that in here. So what I've got if title link, so that can be service link, services link. Paste that in there wherever that appears. And the other one that I don't that I've not done on this is the tar is the target. So target equals so what I want to do is just check. So at services link dot new window, if it if it is true, then I want it to be blank. Uh, I need to wrap this in the brackets because it was complaining here. So because I've got I'm putting this razor code inside these speech marks, it was complaining that I'm using speech marks again. But if I put it inside the round brackets, I can use those speech marks here. And then if not, do null. And if I use null now, then it won't actually even render the target element. So I'll save that. So I think that is it. So I've done that for those. 
So we should be able to um, use this document type. So let's just make sure we've saved this document type. Click on reorder. It probably shouldn't have a high priority, maybe a one or, uh, one or a two, just so that the content and things like that are first. I want to then put this on the home page document type. So you compositions and I'll do services controls, click on submit and save. Now if we go to home, we'll have any minute now. Right, we've got content and then we can do services. So the title, so I'll just put our services and then something like we offer a range of services. Blah, blah, blah. And then further information about it, you can find out more about our services. by following the link below. Then we can say, um, find out more on the caption. Oops. And then I've not really got anywhere for that to go at the moment, but you could choose an internal page I will, I'll, I'll make it go to one of the internal pages. So I'll make it go to Hello World. Click on Add, Save and Publish. Now, in theory, this should just work. So let's go to the home page. So a quick way to get to that is go to Properties, Link to Document, and just click on that link. Now, I'm expecting an error, but who knows, might be lucky. Let's see what happens. So we saw before that the home page was loading fine. It has loaded again now, and it's got the data in there. So that was lucky, that worked well. So we've got a title that's editable, we've got an introduction editable, the further information, and the link for find out more. So that's good, and it's got a bit of highlighting over that when you hover, and it's going to the Hello World page. So that's all set up. Now we just need to do something about these icons. So for the icons, um, we've got a few options what we can do. We could use something like a Font Awesome Icons drop-down where you can pick the correct icon. Or we can keep it simple and we can just do something like we did here with the social links and where we just enter the name that, that is in on this list of Font Awesome classes. So I think I'm going to do it that way. So I'm just going to add a, if I go into the document types, services controls, I'm just going to add another one which is going to be a type of related links. So this will be services icons. So please, I'll, I'll just do enter the icon class names from font awesome. And this is going to use related links. So I'll do reuse again, click on related links, submit that, and then save. I'm going to do reorder as well, just to move this into the right position. Click on save. So now we've got those services. I, I click on I am done reordering as well. So I've got those services icons as that related links. So because of that, I can just go to where I did the footer in the partials, I can go to site layout footer and where we've got this related links footer social links I'm going to use this code within services and I'm going to repurpose it for this so I've got I enumerable related link footer social links and so I just need to change the property of that property name to be service icons and then in here, in the footer, where I've got the code for that, where it's saying if I've got footer social links, so this will be if I've got the icons. So I'm just going to call this um, service icons. And then in here, 
if I've got the icons, if service icons isn't null, and there are some, for every link within those service icons, I'm just going to, instead of a, a link, I'm going to put that as a hash symbol. And the I'm not actually going to create that as a link anyway. So if you see this here, this is the code that I'm going to use. So I've got UL classes there, so that will go in there. Then inside the UL, I've got a span class. So for every one of those, the whole purpose of this is just to get that caption part there and to put that in here. And then this also has a label for it. I could put that same caption in that label. So that's not a problem. So now if I just delete that, and then I can delete this from below, I've actually written all the code that I need to, to, to achieve it now. So there we go. Now let's go back to the content part. Click on Home. Click on Services. And then I can just add some of these in here. So maybe um, bed. Let's just do add. I don't need to worry about the link. It's not relevant. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> if we go up here and have a look for I. Just make sure I take off FA dash because I've already got that. And then maybe another one if I do nail. No. Uh, sleep. I don't know. I'm not sure what relevant ones there are in there. I'm just going to pick one ambulance. Unfortunately, that's not <laughs> probably not what we're saying is the service. You, get, you have to leave in an ambulance. So if I save and publish that and refresh on the home page. Hopefully there's not going to be an error for this and we should just see the list of icons as it was before but with different icons that I've picked in the content myself. So there we go, we've got the bed, the eye and the ambulance. So now we have the services section fully editable. Um, so it's ready to go. So that's the end of this episode. So now we've got that services one. The next episode will be moving on to the other things like this part here. So this is probably a list of articles that you want to show. So that maybe the latest news or something like that. So I'm going to do that. What have I called it in the code? I'll go to the home template. Spotlight. Yeah, so it's like your featured, featured items. So yeah, I hope you've liked this episode. Um, probably a short and sweet one, but... Yeah, if you have liked it, please click on like on uh, YouTube. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can carry on with the series and also see my other videos. I do other videos that aren't necessarily on the same topic, but I do release them. I, I did one a couple of weeks ago, a live coding video and things like that. So yeah, please subscribe to my channel um, and feel free to leave comments. I always try and answer if I can. Even when I was on holiday, I was answering a couple of things for you. So yeah, thanks for watching and um, I'll look forward to doing the next episode for you. Thanks, bye.